Hey there everyone, I'm Fox 10 meteorologist Jennifer Lambers here with the latest update of Tropical Storm Cristobal. So it is Saturday. We're continuing to monitor the storm as it is expected to make landfall tomorrow afternoon and early evening. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in and see what we have going on latest right now in the Gulf of Mexico. So as we zoom in closer towards what Cristobal is looking like for anyone curious about what the pronunciation is, because this is a different storm that does have a different name with it. So we're going to go ahead and go over that. It's a uh, crease as in like your pants. You have a crease in your pants. So crease and then toe is on your feet and then ball is in what you play sports with and you put the most pronunciation on toe. So it's going to be Cristobal. So it's just for anyone wondering how you pronounce it out there, that is the correct pronunciation of that for directly from the National Hurricane Center. So right now the latest advisory on this storm just came out at 10 a.m. So it's about 15 minutes ago. Right now it is looking like those wind speeds are going to stay at the same. It was increased to 50 miles per hour early this morning at 7 a.m. Still looking to be at that speed and also that movement is continuing to stay at 12 miles per hour heading north. So we're going to continue to track this here on Fox 10 News. We are doing updates every hour on air. So if you are watching Fox 10 News every hour on the hour, we will be cutting into programming and just giving you a quick update at any of the newest developments with it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This one I really like to look at. This is what Cristobal is looking like in 3D. So this is just a good way to kind of view what those rain bands are looking like and that inflow that we're seeing within the storm and that rotation within it too. So you can see all the rain with that and even mobile right at the top. You can see that rain and that onshore flow that we're already starting to see from some of the system. As we check out this tropical track starting this morning, at 10 a.m., we're going to go ahead and see where it is right there in the Gulf of Mexico, continuing on overnight and into tomorrow, increasing with that speed at a northerly track and making landfall tomorrow late afternoon and early evening time hours on the Sunday. Mobile again out of this track, but the most intense portions of tropical storms and hurricanes is going to be that front right quadrant. And that's exactly where Mobile, Pensacola and those Mississippi counties currently are within the storm. So it's heading off to our west, the center center of it. But we're going to continue to see a lot of the effects from this, and that's going to be those winds, that rain and also that surf and possibly that storm surge with it, too. As it continues to track onto the Tuesday, we're still going to be seeing the effects of it even after it's moving up towards Tennessee and Missouri and that state line. So we're going to continue tracking it here and we will see the effects of this continuing on into next weekend. Checking out the future cast. This is going to be the European model. You can see where that low is and that counterclockwise rotation within the center of that storm. This is going to be starting Saturday this morning, continuing to see some of that rain affect us throughout the day, especially for those coastal portions. So that's going to be Pensacola, the Florida Panhandle, extending towards Dauphin Island, Gulf Shores, and out towards Pascagoula. A lot of these areas are going to continue to see this rain. Flash flooding is possible within this. Again, we're looking at a lot of rain within these rain bands. That's going to be on that front right quadrant that continues to bring some of this moisture from the Gulf of Mexico within this. Getting into Saturday at 9 p.m., this is when we're going to start to see an increase in these showers and also within this wind. So we're looking at those gusty winds within it continuing on into tomorrow. This is going to be Sunday morning, so we're starting off early. That center low is still going to be offshore just off of New Orleans and Louisiana. Starting off your Sunday morning, still looking at those gusty winds. It's going to be a wet morning in case you are heading out to church. Just be cautious that we're looking at this heavy precipitation. Continuing on into Sunday when we start to see that landfall approaching, heading into later on your Sunday night. So this is going to be Sunday night that we're seeing that low approaching it. Heading into Monday and also heading into Tuesday, we're continuing this rain. We'll continue to keep you updated here on what we are seeing within this rainfall amounts. So it is important that we continue to watch for any flash flooding possible with this, but also Monday morning, we're still seeing this rain. We're going to be at high tide early on in the morning. So in case with your commute, if you possibly take the Bayway or the Causeway, Causeway is looking to most likely going to be closed on Monday morning. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're leaving early on your Monday morning because it will most likely be closed off due to this flooding concerns that we will see with that. Heading into Tuesday, still going to be seeing some of this precipitation behind Tropical Storm Cristobal as it is making an approach towards Memphis, towards Arkansas, and continuing further up into the Midwest. Now, as we check out your Tuesday morning, still looking wet behind it. So we do have a wet couple of days coming behind it even after that. We are currently in a tropical storm warning that's including New Orleans along with southern Louisiana. And this is going to continue to extend towards back home. That's going to be the Florida Panhandle extending from Destin through Fort Walton Beach, Pensacola, down to Gulf Shores, Dauphin Island, Pascagoula, 
Mississippi counties included, all of Mobile County included, along with Mobile Bay. And then also southern portion of Baldwin County also within this tropical storm warning. So we're going to continue to watch the surf, watch the storm surge, and also watch out for those winds. SPC outlook, this is the severe weather risk that we're looking at. Inland County is going to be in that general thunder risk, marginal risk. That's going to be that level one. That's going to include Mobile, Baldwin counties extending towards Pensacola. That slight risk will be for our Mississippi counties, also including southern Mobile County. We cannot rule out any tornadoes within this. So far this morning, we've seen some thunderstorms just off the coast of these areas, and they did have water spouts in them. So it is important to go ahead and keep an eye on this. Then heading into tomorrow, we're not only looking at those uh, strong winds, but also tornadoes is it's a low risk, but it's still there. So you do want to go ahead and keep an eye on that and continue to monitor and have your plan in place. As far as our tropical headlines, this is the most important pieces. We're looking at that heavy rain Sunday through Tuesday. So this is going to continue. We're looking at that flash flood watch. Flash flood warning will most likely going to be in effect in some places heading into the later half of the weekend. Flooding most likely possible. Those are going to be the highest risks that we are seeing with this. That storm surge we're going to be one to three feet above what that high tide would be because this is going to be during high tide too. Also dangerous and deadly surf. I know that we've been seeing a lot of surfers out there and so make sure in case you're interested in surfing now is not the time to be trying that for the very first time. Make sure that you're staying safe, staying out of the water. I know we have a lot of folks coming down for a vacation. You want to go ahead and stay out of the water if you can because it is going to be very dangerous out there with that rough uh, surf current. And so right now it is already red flags down there in most areas. Checking out our radar right now, currently on the Gulf Coast, already seeing the effects of Tropical Storm Cristobal. With this zooming in closer to some areas, seeing that rain extending from Destin down towards Pensacola, up to towards Cantonment, Milton and Allentown. This is just going to be rain. Right now I do have that lightning on, um, and we don't see any lightning within this. So it's just going to be the rain showers that we're continuing to see picking up in some areas. Some areas even seeing heavier pockets of precipitation. Moving further to the west right now, we're seeing some rain in Grand Bay along with Pascagoula extending towards Biloxi. Dolphin Island seeing some clearing right now, but still very rough and cloudy skies out there. So we're seeing some breaks in the rain, especially for those inland spots. We'll continue to see that picking up later on into today. Checking out your full 10 hour planner for your Saturday. Really going to start to see those rain showers begin picking up heading into the afternoon, looking at increased showers, especially Picking up around 3 p.m. Still could see some sunshine for the early part of the day, but those temperatures will stay in the lower to mid 80s today also for our daytime high. So it will be muggy out there as well. Checking out your full seven day forecast. Saturday looking at 50% chance of rain showers. We're going to stay in the 80s for the remainder of our next seven days. Sunday and Monday, 90 to 100% chance of thunderstorms and rain showers. Very windy. We're looking at wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour with this. So it will be windy out there. Heading into the later half of the week, we're still going to see the effects of Tropical Storm Cristobal. It's going to be wet out there. We're going to continue this trend, but luckily by the time we get to next weekend, it's toning down just a little bit, seeing some sunshine out there and also warming up into the lower 90s. So we're going to get back to those 90s, hopefully back to some sunshine too here on the Gulf Coast. So we do have these advisories coming out about uh, every three hours or so. Um, but we will have the next uh, official update coming out at 4 p.m. But I'm going to go ahead and continue to read everyone's comments here. I am uh, putting up Facebook Live just to see what everyone's saying. Hello, Seth. Uh, hello, Jennifer. Hello, Beth. And hello, Kathy. Uh, hello, Lehman and Jordan. Betty says, I'm not too worried unless the winds pick up. And yes, the winds are a big risk here. We're looking at those gusts up to 40 miles per hour. That could start tonight, so make sure if you have anything outdoors, you want to go ahead and bring it in or tie it down, just because that is looking to be a big uh, factor with this, especially in southeast Mississippi. Really starting to look at those risks for those tropical storm force winds. Uh, Sheila says good morning from Mobile, and then Ellen also says good morning. So good morning to everyone out there. I do hope that you have a great Saturday. Again, we're going to keep you updated here on Fox 10 News. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith, along with meteorologist Matt Barentine. Uh, they'll be coming in later this afternoon for Fox 10 News starting at 9 p.m. But again, stay safe out there and we'll keep you updated here. Also, I want to say hello to Judy watching from Elizabethtown, Kentucky, and also Lori. So good morning to everyone. Again, I'll be up um, keeping you updated and I'll have another Facebook Live up here.